Let's watch the assessment and intervention scenario, symptomatic supraventricular tachycardia, using a Lairdal simulator. At 0830, EMS is dispatched to a 26-year-old female feeling dizzy while running on a treadmill. Upon arriving at the scene, the paramedic does a quick scan to ensure there is no danger. She introduces herself to the patient in order to assess AVPU and ABCs while placing a hand on her shoulder to comfort her and the other hand on her wrist to complete a rapid radial pulse check. The paramedic also notices the patient's skin is pale and diaphoretic. She questions the patient about the history of present illness and also starts obtaining the patient's sample history. Recognizing the patient may be experiencing a cardiac event, she places a pulse ox and places her on oxygen at 15 liters per minute. A 3-lead EKG is taken, which demonstrates supraventricular tachycardia. While placing a blood pressure cuff, she instructs the patient to bear down or simulate sucking on a straw. Based on her exam findings of dizziness, palpitations, and supraventricular tachycardia, she initiates a large-bore IV in the antecubital region. 6 milligrams of adenosine is administered via rapid IV push followed by a 20 milliliter fluid bolus. The EKG is reassessed and it is noted the rhythm has changed to sinus tachycardia. The paramedic learns the patient feels tired but is no longer dizzy and reports no more palpitations. The hospital is notified of patient's complaints and the treatments that have been provided. The patient is reassessed and reevaluated. Upon arrival at the ER, the patient care is transferred to the staff. Total elapsed time for this scenario, 20 minutes. Time out, 0850. Now let's go to the simulation lab, where you can use your skills to perform a patient assessment and demonstrate the appropriate interventions.